sand and sky were white. Another dry day. Eyes scarred the bowl above seeking a wrinkle. July and not a wisp of cloud nor a drop of rain. The young could not recall a summer so stuck. The old spoke of the Bhaiya and Saya for means of 55 years ago. In the evenings, at hushed gatherings on sand dunes, under a lonely moon, they told stories. We remember such times in our youth. We felt the sun singe our cheeks, seen withered stalks of bajra stretch into the distance, picked our way through dunes, littered with dead goats and camels, watched the sand shift over the horizon, wept over the deceitful play of light against dust that creates the illusion of an impending rainstorm. Furrows of Bajra lay untouched, and those that had been ploughed showed no signs of sprouting. Inside their homes, women sighed daily, staring at images of Hanuman in their temples. Of all the creatures made by Ramji, why were we chosen to live in this cruel Shekavati, this land of scrub and sand and kedra leaves, where nothing but the poor Bajra grows begrudgingly? What curse pushed the water so deep into the earth that even in the best of times, a hand must deal out a hundred lengths of rope before the bucket strikes water. And if this crop should fail, as it surely will, if the earth sees no drop for another week, who will feed home in the gloomy winter? What milk shall we squeeze out of our starving cows? And where can we go when the camels that must carry us are dead themselves? Ah, how have we been negligent? Have we not recompensed the pundits, built poor houses, elected temples? It's not the earth, our mother, and is not a mother's duty to provide.